I'm going to give a quick introduction to uh, Stereonet's invisible geology. So the basic controls are click to add a line, double click to add a plane, and click and drag to measure. So starting with the plane, we can see that once we're hovering over the interactive stereo net, we're creating a great circle. And so if I double click, I can create that plane and I can click and drag outside of the stereo net and see that plane instantly in three dimensions. And so if I create another plane that intersects with that, I can see that they do indeed intersect in a line and I can see that in three dimensions. And on the stereo net, a line is just a point, so I can click once, and I can create that point, and when I rotate up, I see that in three dimensions. If you want to create an element that isn't a plane or a line, which is are really easy to create in Visible Geology by just double-clicking and clicking on the stereo net, you can click this new button, and that gives you a few more options. You can create a plane, a line, uh, rakes or small circles. So if we click on the small circle, we can give it a name, small circle, and a trend if we want 225, 225, a plunge of 25, I'm just typing and hitting tab, and if we want the angle, uh, the radius of that small circle to be something like 15, we can choose that. We can do the color to be green, and we can hit accept, and we can create that small circle right there. When you have lots of data in Visible Geology, uh, what you can do is you can select different parts of it, because this uh, mess is a little bit hard to interpret, but if I want to see the interaction between that small circle and that blue plane, all I have to do is select them both, and I can select the second one by holding down the shift key and clicking on it, and I'll see the small circle and that plane come up right away. And if I want to change some of these options, I can select all of them up at the top and edit the color. So if I want them to all come up green with uh, zero fill, I can say accept, and then I can see the outlines of them in 3D. If you have data that you would like to import to Visible Geology, all that you have to do is grab a data set. I'm using the uh, Open Stereo data set. Select all, copy, go back to Visible Geology, and click import data. And so this will bring up a form and we can say data set and this data set can have the planes, lines, rakes, small circles. And so if we paste the data in there and we can choose the format is either dip to the right, dip to the left, or dip direction. Dip direction is the format of this data so I'm going to hit accept and it's going to create all of that data and we can see it in 3D. And so all of that data has been created. We can rotate instantly up into three dimensions and see that data set. If we want to interact with it a little bit more and get some statistics about it, select the data set, click the new button, and click on the rows chart. And you can see the rows chart instantly with a few um, circular statistics. You can hover over each bin and it gives you the percent in that bin. If we just hide that data set, that rows chart, we can also create histograms. And so that histogram will come up right away. And if we uh, hover over the bins, we can see how many elements are in that bin. So data sets are pretty easy to uh, use and interact with in visible geology.